Welcome back. Now, South African podcasts are forecast to reach up to 19 million monthly listeners by 2024. That's according to PwC's Media Outlook. It estimates podcast advertising revenue will be worth more than 300 million rand by next year. To tell us more about this, Lebang Khosana, the founder of podcast The Life with Lebang, joins me now in studio. Lebang, thank you so much for speaking to me this evening on Newsnight. Well, thank you for having me, Anli. It's very <laughs> nice to be here. So usually you're talking positive parenting, but tonight we're talking about the vehicle behind the messaging. Sure, sure. Why do you think podcasts have, you know, just exploded like they have not just in South Africa but you know on the African continent globally it yeah. just seems to be the medium of choice right now yeah um, so exploded is definitely the right word um, if you think pre-COVID we saw podcasting numbers at around 30 percent of South Africans who had access to the internet or even just podcasts and now we're seeing that increase by another 30 percent so now the numbers are 61 percent mm. of South Africans have access to the internet and podcasts. And a lot of that is based because of access to the internet. More households have smartphones, have devices, have computers. And I guess also more people just want the information that they want. There's a niche um, market when you think about podcasting in general. It's who is my market? Who is my audience? It's not really the mass. It's a person that wants something specific, whether it's education, whether it's entertainment, they are bound to find it where online and what's the better medium than audio than to listen to it i mean if you think about how we grew up we'd you know sit around and listen to our grannies telling us stories around a fire and that is the most traditional way of consuming content plus audio you, you can consume that on the move how many exactly. people do you see walking commuting with earphones you mm. can listen while you're doing something else video kind of tends to it's not great walking and watching. exactly <laughs> please don't try that at home you know what i mean so that's the beauty of it it's, it's like a thing that you can do in the background while i'm doing the dishes while i'm changing an abbey i'm listening to whatever i choose to listen to so podcasting it's beautiful because of that exact thing and also it's an evergreen medium where this day in 2023 if we're recording something right now in the next 20 years if that information is required by the audience they can still access it mm -hmm. so it's evergreen in its in its nature and just in you know it's the value add yeah. at the end of the day so podcasting for the win as someone established in the podcasting world in south africa yeah. how would you rate the quality and sort of generally what is the preferred sort of vibe, the, the, the kind of topics that people are listening to? Yeah, so it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I mean, you know the South African audience, we love a lot of different things. We're very colorful people, and so there's a lot of people that just like entertainment, that just want to hear about what are celebrities up to, what's latest in the news, all of that stuff. But then there's groups of people who like high-level, high-thinking, um, you know, uh, information that they want to access, whether it's education. I mean, look at how much people are using YouTube to learn new things. Yeah. Podcasts are also fitting those uh, spaces where it's like, I want to learn about ABC. This is what I enjoy. Where am I going to find that? Whereas, you know, listening to other mediums, you're not going to get that on the go at your leisure when you want it. Yeah. Podcasting is, I feel like listening to something right here, right now. I know exactly what that is. And therefore, I'll listen to it. And yeah, yeah to your point, you know, South Africans, uh, it, it, there's a little bit of fluff here and there, you know, which is fine. And there's nothing wrong with entertainment. We live for it. But definitely there is another side of it that really has important information that is way more value adding. And we're seeing an increase in those kinds of podcasts being consumed as well. For a content creator, what's the value of choosing a podcast as your medium of choice? What are the business prospects? Sure. So the f as from a business perspective, you know, advertising and podcasting is on the rise. Those numbers are getting really, really crazy. You're seeing advertisers now choosing between the traditional mediums that they've always put money into versus now podcasting where it's a more interesting uh, untapped market and you know I'm of the belief that every brand is a podcaster every person is a broadcaster everyone has a story to tell and so as a content creator if you want to stay on the ball you want to keep engaging with your audience and also try and broaden the ways in which you access your audience then definitely podcasting is something you can consider why because of the ease of entry get a microphone find a room, you know, put some sound up and then boom, there you go. As long as you've got good 
information and great stories that you want to share. And if you know what you're talking about and knowing the why, why do you want to be a podcaster? Why do you want to share your story? I promise you the audience will come to you. They'll find you. And there you go. Mm. So good. organic growth is one thing. Mm. Um, but, you know, with competition growing exponentially alongside you, you've got to differentiate yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. What was something that you experienced that really gave you that, that next level advantage over your competition? Yeah, um, so I was lucky enough to actually begin my career as a radio DJ. So I didn't just wake up one day and be like, oh, let me go into podcasting. I was already broadcasting. It was already my first love. So it was kind of natural for me to shift into podcasting. And to be honest, I just looked around at my life and I was like, I'm a parent. I'm a mother of five amazing children. But this is a lot of work. Five? Let me just five. Yes, <laughs> just make a show. And well done. <laughs> so I realized that this is something that's always changing. My journey of motherhood is something that I constantly need information on. It's something that I need to be more intentional in. And so I just said to myself, if I'm feeling like this, I can guarantee you there are thousands of other parents out there who are as stuck as I am. So I just chose, you know what, let me share my journey of parenting. Let me engage with people who are also professionals in this field of parenting who I can introduce to the audience just to make the parenting thing a little bit easier. I mean, we're, we're all going through a lot. We're all constantly tired. That year in fatigue has definitely kicked in. But knowing that there's a community of parents that are all experiencing this with us kind of makes it feel a little bit better. And what better way to do that? With, with podcasting. To end off, how we were talking about fluff and entertainment and the different kind of messages mm. out there. Mm. Um, how important do you think authenticity is? Because you, you, can, you can be broadcasting about something very light-hearted mm. and still be authentic. And there seems to be a real need out there for, for messages that are honest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Anli, I can honestly say... And the word authenticity has been so overused. Yeah. I, I, I don't like using it because everybody uses it, but truly, Authentically truly, fake. You know what I mean? Um, but honestly, all you can be is the best version of yourself. And that is because there are people out there who need to hear your story. You may feel like, ah, oh, let me just try this thing and get a microphone and speak. But there's somebody out there who you could be saving by just getting on there and telling your story. There's somebody out there who could be making a decision to end their lives. But because you are about to take on that mic, they could be your only listener. But you could be that one person that's saying, you know what, I had a rough day, but you know what, I'm deciding to push on. And whoever you are there, push on as well. That could be the one message that somebody needs to hear today. So I always say, live the best version of yourself. Don't feel discouraged and don't feel pressured by what everybody else mm. is doing. Because sure, it may seem popular to talk about what everybody's talking about, but I promise you, if that's not who you are, it'll show. Mm. So always be yourself, always be fire, because if you are fire, you will be felt. Be authentic, tell whatever your story is, yes. and if you can have an opportunity to make a business out of telling your story. Oh, make some money, honey. So much the better. Thank you so much. That was uh, Lebang Khosana, founder of the podcast, The Life with Lebang. We really appreciate your insights. Just thank you so much. Right.